All right, people, welcome back to another live video. And today I decided, you know what, I feel like doing a, a top five. I didn't really feel like doing webcam duels. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do top five. So as you can clearly tell by the title, I'm gonna talk about my top five favorite spell cards. Uh, you know, spell cards are very powerful in game of Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, some of my favorite, some of my least favorite. So, you know, if this video does well, I can go ahead and do my top five least favorite spell cards. So that's up to you. I'll leave it to you guys in the comment section below. And as of course, uh, participate in top five by commenting your top five favorite spell cards in the comment section below. So enough diddling, let's get started. So number five, my number five favorite spell card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh is Pot of Duality. And the reason why I really love Pot of Duality is because it added consistency to my Ubel decks when I didn't have them. Uh, back in the day, Ubel was of course a really inconsistent deck, and this is before I, you know, I started figuring out really what to do with Super Vice. Uh, and I was like, damn, I, man, my shit's really inconsistent. And then as soon as I saw Pot of Duality, I was like, wow, that is definitely the card that I need, I love. You know, get to see the next three cards. I mean, it sucks you can't spell it, but I get to see the next three cards and take one. Like, it's such a powerful effect. I mean, it was semi-limited at one point, but I just really, I love Pot of Duality. It got me, it sparked me back into playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And if Pot of Duality never came out, I'm not even sure if I would have even became Yu-Gi-Oh! Mastery, because that's what sparked me to make another Ubel deck and come back and start working with Ubel on YouTube. So, definitely, uh, Paul Duali, I had to put as number five. All right, so, number four. My number four favorite spell card is Dark Hole. I love Dark Hole, of course, me being a Ubel player, I like to destroy Ubel. Uh, I always found that Dark Hole is a very powerful card, you know, and uh, it's just kind of odd that, you know, Dark Hole is at two, yeah, Regeki is, you know, and I'm not putting Regeki, because I, I personally, I don't think Regeki is fair. I definitely think that you know, Regeki should be banned, and Dark Hole at 3 would be a much better choice, because, you know, just go at being able to just wipe your opponent's field with no repercussion on your own, I don't know. As I said, Dark Hole, I definitely feel like it's a balanced card, uh, you know, you can use it like a Regeki, but you, of course, have to have no monster on, field, on your field in the first place, but, you know, it's like, hey, you know, do I want to risk, you know, wiping my own field from my opponent's field? You know, so definitely, I think Dark Hole is a much balance, more balanced card than Regeki, and that's one of my favorite spell cards. I definitely love it, and uh, sometimes I put in some decks, sometimes I don't, but, you know, I definitely respect the Dark Hole. So that is number uh, four. All right, moving on to number three. My number three favorite spell card is... Heavy Storm. All right, you see, like, a pattern here. Yes. Uh, I miss Heavy Storm. I miss it, as you know. If, if I could have one card to unban, it wouldn't be Heavy Storm, no. No, and it wouldn't be a free one like a No, uh, my <laughs> my choice for uh, a card that I wish could come on ban would be that Lavalvo Chain. Like, still upset about that, but we're not talking about Lavalvo Chain. We are definitely, if I ever did my top, you know, five exceed monsters, you know, Lavalvo Chain would definitely be on there. But no, uh, Heavy Storm, you know, I hate back row. You guys know that I hate back row so much in Yu-Gi-Oh! And, and it really sucks that there's so much background in the game that you can easily just go ahead and one-up your opponent and, you know, beat them because eventually you're going to patter out of monsters, you want them put in the back row, sit up behind one monster, you know, helmet deck, wall it up, and I don't like back row. As you can clearly see, sometimes I'm just like, ah, back row, but, uh, you know, I'm never the biggest a fan of it. And, uh... I love Heavy Storm, and it, it sucks that it's gone, but I understand why it's gone, you know. I'm not, never really been a big OTK or either, so, uh, in my eyes, I've never really used it in that manner, but, uh, you know, just to be able to clear up that back row so I can at least do some plays so I don't get one up and, you know, sit here and just not play Yu-Gi-Oh! So, Heavy Storm is definitely one of my favorites. So, uh, you might, got, you guys are going to see a pattern here, so we're going to go ahead and move on to number two. My favorite, second favorite spell card in all the Yu-Gi-Oh! And that is Forbidden Lance. So, uh, uh, you see in the pattern here, you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, you guys are probably sitting there guessing. You're like, Daniel, I know what your number one is. I know what it is. Like, shut up. We're going to get to that. But uh, Forbidden Lance, I love it. Quick plus spell card. Minus 800 during your damage step. Blocks me from spells and traps. I, I mean, I love I love Forbidden Lance. And uh, definitely, when it was up in this popular, popularity, I was like, definitely love the Forbidden Lance. I definitely want to play it. And, uh, yeah. I love Forbidden Lands. Like, uh, there's nothing to say about that. I just, I love the card. So, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and move on to number one, which I, I bet you guys can guess at this point. The pattern is real, you know. So, number three. No, well, let's go down the list. Okay, so number five, Pot of Duali, because it brought me back into Yu-Gi-Oh. Number four, Dark Cold, because I respect the card. I think it's a balanced card, and it's really good, of course, you know. Uh, don't like Rejecky, though. I think the card's stupid, so. Uh, number three, Heavy Storm. Fuck back row. Number two, Forbidden Lands. Fuck back row. And the number one, my favorite spell card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! 
did anybody guess MST? Of course, MST. I love MST. You know, and it's all didn't have a uh, favor with me just because, you know, how the meta is and how some decks are played. But I love MST. Most played card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! And I love it for that simple reason, you know? They keep on making other cards that are just, like, kind of like MST. Like, oh, it's a new MST! No, it's still not as good as MST. And <laughs> it's pretty obvious. And it's like, oh, Galaxy Cyclone! I'm like, no, MST is still better. <laughs> so, uh, definitely MST, my favorite, favorite spell card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! I just love it. It's a quick play spell. I love it. I love it. It's simple effect. Just target, <laughs> target another spell, trap on the field, destroy it. Simple as that. And it's funny that... They made it so simple, so good, and they make cards after it, but they're just not as good, you know? Yeah, I mean, fuck your Night Beam, fuck your, fuck your uh, Galaxy Cyclone, you know, MST all the way, all the way, all day, every day. So, there you go, you guys saw the pattern, so I want to know what your guys' top five is. Uh, go ahead and tell me in the comment section below your top five favorite spell cards. So, uh, like I said, uh, we can continue doing top fives every once in a while. Uh, you know, I do have a couple of lists I can do. You know, one idea is, I did my top five favorite spell cards. Let's maybe do my top five most hated spell cards, you know? And we can maybe we could do traps. We can do, um, and, you know, sea monsters, synchro monsters. You know, we could do a ton of top fives. So, I just want to go ahead and try this top five. I know Remy's not here. Uh, you know, it's just easier just to go ahead and record on my webcam, you know? I don't have to sit here and record webcam duels and, and deal with people. I deal with them enough on Vime and Y. So, uh, you know, maybe we'll come back next week with another webcam duels. Maybe come back with another top five. I don't know. We'll find out. Live videos. But uh, just so you know, and you guys might have saw it, uh, I pretty much have my deck. You know, I'm going to go ahead. Clee la 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 la. Yep, there's the cleave. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna have, now I'm just showing off my deck. Now I'm just showing off my deck. Uh, into the voids. Uh... Uh, <laughs> you're like, where are you going with this video, Dan? Just showing off my deck, showing that out. Lunch will be going down to locals. Broken eyes. Hold on, hold on. I think it's, I think it's in my deck box. Hold on. Hold on, people. Hold on. I, I, I'm just, I'm just holding up this video. I'm just showing off my Yu-Gi-Oh cards now. Who's one turns? <laughs> so. Got my cleaves. Uh, gonna be taking them down to locals, kicking some butt, and maybe I'll record some videos at locals. So, I don't know. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of, uh, well, episode. Not an episode of anything. Uh, uh, live video, top five. So, like I said, tell me what your guys' top five favorite spell cards in the comment section below. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next time I do a live video next Thursday. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.